Hey gang, Matt from Atlas Precision Consulting. In today's video, we're going to talk about grid filtering. Uh, now, everywhere in P21, you've seen grids like the ones here on the screen that have a header with the three dots next to it. Those are our filters. Um, it's a very useful tool of the web version of P21. And, and there's a couple different um, things I want to show you here. There's two different types of filter grids uh, and then some other uh, tips I want to give you. One, there is a setting in user maintenance that allows users to drag and drop their own fields. That way this becomes a little bit more um, unique to the user. So if certain data is more important to you, you can move it over to the left. Now keep in mind if uh, an admin or whoever is in charge of doing your Dyna changes, changes something on a grid, it will revert back to whatever they've set it to and then you'll have to go back and update it. Uh, but in this example, I, I wanna look at every open order uh, for this customer in Transaction Master Inquiry. I can click the three dots. Um, there is the filter button here, which has a couple different choices. Depending on what you are choosing will determine uh, your choices uh, for being able to filter by. In this case, I'm just gonna keep it on contains. I'm gonna type in Bob Jones and I'm gonna hit filter. And this is gonna drop down everything I'm shipping directly to Bob Jones. Uh, and I've talked about in a previous video where you can export this data into a grid. It will remember your uh, filter, so it will only bring out the ones that you have filtered down for. Now, I said there was another type of filtering grid. So I'm in Item Master Inquiry here, and I wanna double click on this. And you'll notice the difference here. There, there is a grid, there is the three dots, but that also automatically gives you a field to start typing in because that way it allows you to do a general search that searches all the um, all the bolded columns. Or you could come in here and type in EA just to filter down to only unit of measure of each. Now, by default, um, if you click on this little filter thing, it's set to contains. Again, depending on what field you're picking on, you'll have some different options. Um, so again, these are very useful. They're almost like in certain parts of the system, they're almost like reports. You can filter them down, dump some data into Excel and send it to a customer, do something with it. Um, you just have a lot of opportunities to do different things with them. Um, so if you guys have more questions on this or questions about anything, honestly, uh, put a comment down below. Make sure you like and subscribe. And as always, Atlas will be here for your Profit 21 needs.